hi guys welcome back to my channel if it is your first time joining me welcome to my channel so i asked people on instagram what challenge specifically i asked girls what challenges they face as women specifically women of color so one of the things that stood out for me was um being undermined in the workplace um being lost preference to things and having to work extra hard to achieve easy like that's um something that we're still fighting for and i feel like this is the era that we should break up boundaries and you know be there for ourselves and the best way to do that i feel like it's looking out for one another look out for your black sister and just don't look at another black woman as competition because she's already fighting battles she, but don't fight women in the workplace um because she's already fighting to be there she fought to be there i mean it's it's very sad to see another black woman bringing another black woman down it's a fight that is never ending so long as we still front to t to have each other's backs like on social media we see a lot of black girl magic shine take up space but we are the first ones to block each other's success we're the first ones to say why her we're the first ones to criticize when people start businesses to look at people and be like you don't deserve to be here why are you here you're so mediocre we label ourselves if you label another um black sister you're basically labeling yourself because you are the same you are her she is you um another thing was hair um people we struggle with hair a lot and i feel like there's no um strategy towards that you basically need to accept yourself accept that love yourself now i love my black hair i love my coarse hair i mean it's very difficult to maintain but i love it because it makes me who i am it's part of who i am i just need to accept myself for that and it's it's accepting yourself really there's no formula to that you need to accept that it's a part of you it's who you are it defines you it defines who you are so really with that there's nothing i can say or do to make you feel better you just need to accept yourself um another thing was um pressure to have a career pressure to get married pressure to have a job you know um, and that pressure comes from ourselves, our families, our friends. And I feel like that shouldn't even be a conversation because our journeys are not the same. Our paths that we're going to choose are not the same. So I may have um, a career and not want to get married or have kids. And that's okay because that's my choice. And people should not expect me to now have milestones that are similar to their milestones because we are not the same we are different you are different in your own way i am unique you are unique in your own way and it's a conversation that's never ending because mang po my varsity some family member some friend will expect me to do certain thing will expect me to get a job will expect me to have a husband and it's irritating to be honest it's annoying and it's even more annoying to get that it comes from the same people that we call friends the same people that we call family it's it's a lot it's a lot but we just need to accept ourselves and we need to accept the fact that we do not have the same journeys our paths are not the same our choices will not be the same and our interests will not be the same. I may not be interested in having a big career. And our definitions of career are not the same. We need to also ex acknowledge that our definitions of career are not the same. My career could be something way different to what you regard as a career. And that's okay because at Gabilin, it's my life and it's your life. And I make my choices. You also make your choices. And it's okay if we have different choices, if we choose different parts. Also, um, I wanted to like touch on more on the um, career part because someone said that they are an engineer and it's very hard 
for them to showcase themselves because they're not given the big tasks. And she sees a lot of people who are in the same state as her, but they're given a lot of clout, um, a lot of attention, a lot of praise, a lot of opportunity. And it's very hard to show yourself if you're not giving the space. So create your own space, baby. Create your own space to be good at what you do. And to just do good and to show people that you are the girl that you think you are and you are good at what you do. You're there because you deserve to be there. And it's it's amazing how we wait for, to be given a platform to show ourselves, to show our capabilities instead of creating our own platform to show our capabilities. And another thing uh, on the girls supporting girls thing, I... You know, there's a lot of girls who are willing to give support to a girl in need. There are a lot of girls who are mean when girls want help. I mean, Mina, I've been like exposed to girls who really love to help other girls, who really love to see um, a team winning and not an individual winning. And in the space that I'm in, like, as a YouTuber, I've been exposed to really lovely women and it's just, it evoked a lot of Anga's emotion for me because as a cyborg Leon, like we don't see that in a lot of women because we always see it on Twitter, women trash each other. If a woman posts a picture, you, a woman is always the first one to talk negative about that picture it's sad really like it's really sad we just need to learn to have us our, our bags like have your sister's back like i mean we're sisters at Kabilini. and if we don't have our bags if we're each other's competition how are we gonna win we say black girl magic but how is it going to be black girl magic if the same black girls will block that magic so it's it's a lot I mean, I have a lot to say on this topic. It's, I don't know, I just keep touching there and there, but really I have a lot to say because it really gets to me when someone says negative about something someone is starting. Umundu will talk negative about a girl selling Uheb Alive and be like, yo, Leandro, Leandro, okay, girl, if you don't like it, then shut up because she's also trying to build something for herself. I think it's things so good to also be negative about it. If a girl starting a YouTube channel, if you don't like her content, then okay, baby. If you feel like she's um, trying too hard, if you feel like she, uh, she's not doing well, then shut up. Let her grow in her own space. Do not now say the negative things and try to bring her down. Because if you're not going to support her, someone else will. And that's the first thing we should do is support each other i mean i've been um like communicating with a lot of youtubers on instagram and they're really nice people as as well as like established youtubers they're really nice people uh i, I speak to them like when you send them dms they re re they reply like when you're asking questions they reply and when you do requests they do it they are not bad people because I feel like it's easier for someone who's been in your journey to understand the struggles that you're going through and they understand and I'm really grateful for them and I'm really grateful for the upcoming YouTubers that I do communicate with because we really help each other a lot and it's beautiful to watch us help grow each other like we grow more when we're together imagine if I was just alone and doing my own thing and wanting to grow alone nothing would happen because I'm not allowing people to help me grow. I, there's nothing I'm going to do alone. No matter how good I think I am, no matter how gold I think I am, there's nothing that's um there's nothing that's going to help me grow more than communicating with people in the same field. If you're in business, communicate with other business people. If you are in media, do that. If you are a YouTuber, do that. But do not want to do things alone because you want to shine. That won't happen, baby. It won't. Thank you guys for watching this video. I really enjoyed um, shooting it. Hopefully, we'll have more conversations about it. I actually had a script for this video, but clearly, I was just touching 
everywhere but i really enjoyed filming it um thank you so much for engaging in my content for commenting the likes and everything thank you so much guys i really love you so much for doing this and yeah man thank you so much love you